Good afternoon, families. It is Friday, October 27th, 2023, and I'm coming to you with our vlog robot roundup for the week. We'll get right into our top two. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all the apples that you brought in for our in apple investigation. It has been wonderful. So today we actually made applesauce from scratch and it was delicious. So we'll get more into that in a little bit. But our second top two for the week is don't forget Halloween Parade is on Tuesday. So if your student is dressing up, uh, just make sure you follow the specifics for the Beagle Bulletin. The link is still in our email if you didn't see it already. Uh, just keep in mind, they got to wear it all day and be able to get in and out of it for things like going to the bathroom. So that's really important. And then uh, no masks, no extras, you know, obviously school appropriate. So I already know what I'm wearing and I'm not telling anybody. So super secret and surprise. We'll have to see on Tuesday. Um, there are a few blog points for the week and we'll get right into them. So here we go. Um, today, we had a special celebration. We got to join third grade, second grade, and all of kindergarten came to our room because today we got to wish our amazing principal, Miss A-OK, -Okay, a happy birthday. So they all crowded in. We had a secret surprise. She came to our room, thought there was something wrong, and we sang happy birthday and gave her a super surprise, and it was fantastic. So that was really cool. Um, this week in phonics, we got into the letters M, D, and G. And those letters and their sounds and how to write them. But then we also got into the high frequency word, the, which if you don't know already, the is kind of my favorite word. Then in math, we did some reviewing on how to count objects when they are organized differently, especially in a circular array. So when things are organized in a circle, sometimes it's hard to count all the way around and remember where did you start so you know when to stop. And it's pretty important. We also practice writing numbers up to nine when counting objects. And then we got into our apple investigation. So yesterday we did some taste testing of apples and we got to write down how many apples we enjoyed, whether it was red apples, uh, a red delicious, a yellow delicious, or a Granny Smith green. And our class overwhelmingly, this is fantastic, loved Granny Smith apples. The ones we ate in class were so tart. It was amazing. Um, so that was really fun, and we made a gigantic graph that is out in our hallway, which is really fun. Um, then we got to make these cool uh, diagrams right back here of the, all the insides of an apple. Like this, we got the outside skin, the flesh that you eat, the core, the seeds, the stem, the leaves on the top. Really, really cool. Um, then we got all of our apples together today. And we used a peeler and this phenomenal peeler that we got to use, which is super fancy, um, that I borrowed from a friend of mine. Everybody got to peel one apple. We put them in a crock pot and they cooked all day with a little bit of sugar, a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of water. And by the end of the day, the room smelled so good. And we blended them up and we had applesauce and we ate our applesauce. And it was, I'm not kidding, probably some of the best applesauce I've ever had. It was amazing. So. Um, one of my favorite comments that one of the students said was, oh, I just don't want to stop eating this. It's so good. So yum. Applesauce. Maybe I'll send out the recipe. It's amazing. Um, then we'll wrap up with a little bit of our chapter book, Toy Dance Party. So where we left off, Plastic Lumpy and Stingray were trying to help Bonkers the Mouse get out of a vacuum cleaner bag. They tried, but in the end, Spark the Shark ended up chewing her out. Lumpy went down to the basement and discovered that the dryer was broken and might be replaced if she can't get fixed. And Frank, the washing machine, was devastated. The little girl took Plastic Lumpy and Stingray over to a sleepover at her best friend Shay's house, and while they were there, they met a very nice stuffy named Buttermilk. After the two girls played a lot, they fell asleep, and Plastic Lumpy and Buttermilk all went up onto the windowsill, and they heard that you could wish on a star to try to make things come true. So they all picked out a star that they could see and they wished that the dryer would get better. And so when they got home, Lumpy accidentally got pink milk spilled on him. He went down into the basement just in time to see that the dryer was getting fixed. And he actually got to be the first, one of the first things through the dryer. So it just seems in this moment in our chapter book that everything seems right with the world 
and things are going to be okay, which is a fantastic way to end our week. So I hope you are warm. It's kind of getting colder. Please make sure we're sending all the appropriate clothing as the weather changes and it gets colder and rainier. Have a fantastic, wonderful, safe weekend, and I cannot wait to see you for next week. Have a wonderful time. Bye.